Hi, my name is Kaustub Kale. I am a chartered accountant and CFA who helps my clients invest. Now, if you are an existing mutual fund investor or you plan to invest in mutual funds completely afresh, this video is very, very relevant for you. Very important considering the changes that have happened after the 1st of April 2024. Now, your mutual funds KYC can have three types of status. आपका पैन का जो केवाईसी है फॉर म्यूचुअल फंड्स उसके तीन तरह के स्टेटस हो सकते हैं फर्स्ट इज इट कैन बी ऑन होल्ड द सेकंड स्टेटस इज इट कैन बी रजिस्टर्ड नाउ इफ योर केवाईसी स्टेटस इज ऑन होल्ड और रजिस्टर्ड इट्स अ बिग 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 प्रॉब्लम यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू इन्वेस्ट इन म्यूचुअल फंड्स ऑन अ फुल फ्लेज बेसिस सो व्हाट शुड योर केवाईसी स्टेटस आइडियली बी Your KYC status has to be validated. So KYC status validated right now, both important. Hai. Now, where will you check what is your KYC status? You have to check it with various KYC websites. For example, one prime example that we use generally is cvlkra.com. Now, let's go to this website and see what it is exactly. Now, I'm on this KYC website, cvlkra.com. I go to KYC inquiry. This is how you have to do it. I put in my PAN number. Okay, and then I put the captcha and then I press on submit. Now, if you see my KYC status is as validated. Now, KYCs can be with various organizations. All KYC organizations are mentioned here. Aapka ek jaga pe to KYC status validated hona chahi. If you see my KYC status is as validated. Now, this is what you should ideally strive for. Now, let's look at one more example. If you see in this particular uh, client or other, in this particular KYC, it's mentioned as registered. A now, registered nahi hona chi. It has to be validated like I said. Okay. So, in one of these KYC organizations, which is Karvi KRA, for this particular PAN number, you can see the KYC as registered, which should ideally mean it should be KYC validated, not KYC registered. Now, let's look at one more example. I have punched in the KYC PAN number as I did earlier. Now, in this particular client or other person in NDML KRA, here the KYC has gone on hold. Again, like I said, a red flag. If your KYC is on hold or KYC is registered, that's a problem for you. You have to ensure your KYC is validated. Now, in this particular case, they have also mentioned on why it has gone on hold. Now, it can have multiple reasons why it can go, go on hold. It's not just one reason where there is a name mismatch, but you are getting the uh, drift of it. So, yes, now coming back to this. What you have to do, you have to go to cvlkra.com, you have to put in your PAN number and check what is your KYC. If it is on hold or registered, you will not be able to invest properly in mutual funds. Your KYC has to be validated. Aadhaar is indispensable as an address proof. So it's a necessary thing. If your KYC has to be validated, uh, multiple parameters have to be checked and importantly, your address proof has to be with Aadhaar. Your KYC has to be done with Aadhaar. Consult your mutual fund distributor if you are not able to understand what to do. Uh, he is the best person or you can contact me. I have mentioned my numbers uh, on in this video. You can either contact me uh, on the num number mentioned. You can email me or you can connect with me on a social media, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. I will be more than happy to help you. But ensure that your KYC should not be on hold. It should not be registered. It has to be validated. Aadhaar is an important document. Your name as per PAN and Aadhaar should match. Your Aadhaar has to be updated and your you have to use Aadhaar as your address proof. If you want to invest in mutual funds, full-fledged basis in future, KYC has to be validated. God bless you. I hope this video was useful.